Retouch me. Today I'll be showing you how to save money and get creative by making your own Christmas cards in Photoshop. First we're going to select the proper size. Standard paper is 8.5 inches by 11 inches. Now we're going to activate grid view so we can plan ahead where the paper will fold. Use the rectangle shape tool to create markings where the paper will fold. These layers will help with placement and will be deleted later. You will be folding the paper perfectly in half, both horizontally and vertically. Once your lines are placed, turn off grid view. Now using the text tool, Label the sections of the card, so you don't get confused while making your design. This will help you visualize the final product. Now you can begin designing. I suggest an internet search for Christmas images, then copy and paste them onto your card. Select the text tool again and type a short message or phrase for the front of the card. There's plenty of text options in this toolbar, where you can change the color, font, and size. The Text Warp tool is an easy way to spice up your cover. Play around with these options and get creative. For even more text options, right-click your text layer and select Blending Options. You can add shadows, clothes, all types of effects to its style, depth, and drama. There's a lot of variations in this window. Play around with them and see what looks best to you. Let's move on and begin designing the inside of the card. Choose Image, then Image Rotation, 180 degrees, to flip our project around. It may seem weird to have half the card upside down, but once it's printed and folded, everything will be in the proper place. Add more images and text. Do you like my cat theme? Meow. The Custom Shape tool has some interesting frame options that can work as great borders for text. You simply click and drag your selection into place. Now you can write something extra special. I'm afraid I don't know you very well and can't get too personal. Go wild and change up your fonts and colors. The custom shape tool has quite a few holiday shapes. What a lovely snowflake. Hold down the shift key as you click and drag to make perfect proportions. You can draw on your card using the brush tool. Taking a closer look at the brush options, there are some fun designs, like the leaf, that you can gently spray on your card for some interesting effects. Add a new fill layer, and select Gradient. The gradient effect is a great way to add some extra color. As I've been saying, play around with your options. Have fun with it. Right-click your gradient layer, and select Rasterize layer. This will allow you to select and delete sections so our whole card isn't the same gradient. Let's work more on the front of our card. Rotate the card 180 degrees again. You can also add a pattern fill layer, which can make ideal backgrounds. Again, rasterize the layer, and delete any portions that don't apply to the front. Keep the back of the card simple, it is the back after all. You can add your own little logo just like cards at the store have.
our card is looking kind of rough. Good thing we have all month left to make a better one. Check out these amazing YouTube cards I made, along with printable versions on my blog. RetouchMeYT.blogspot.com Thank you for watching, and have fun making your own.